Nicola Sturgeon is facing a crisis after the SNP has been inundated with fresh fraud allegations in a police probe into £600,000 of missing party donations. The SNP has already faced seven original complaints about donations made to the party but police are now believed to be investigating 12 new fraud probes. This comes amid allegations cash earmarked for a second independence referendum has been diverted. These new claims come just days after police Scotland confirmed it was looking into seven allegations of fraud. A source told the Mail on Sunday, around a dozen more allegations have emerged since police announced their investigation. Those people have to be seen, to give formal statements, and that will slow things down a bit. But once that is out of the way, police will seek warrants to examine the documents the auditors would not give up voluntarily and they're also expecting to seek a warrant to get the party's lawyers to hand over relevant documentation. After that, it is a certainty that they will want to question the party's accountants and senior office bearers, in particular the treasurer and the chief executive, and possibly the lawyers as well, depending on what they discover. That will depend on what they learn from the statements being taken over the coming days and the documents they expect to recover through warrants. The money raised by SNP activists was set aside for another independence referendum. However, the alleged money has been diverted. The SNP collected at least £600,000 through two fundraising drives in 2017 and 2019. The money was set to be ring-fenced but concerns were raised by supporters as accounts published appeared to show the money was no longer there. Over recent months, a number of high-ranking officials in the SNP have resigned from the National Executive Committee. Back in May, Dunfermline and West Fife MP Douglas Chapman stood down from his role as Treasurer. Mr Chapman cited a lack of information and support which prevented him from carrying out his fiduciary duties. Days later, Joanna Cherry also quit the committee and claimed she was prevented from improving transparency and scrutiny within the party. An SNP spokesperson said, We will cooperate fully with the police investigation and will make no further comment.